Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Academy and in this video I'll be talking about the different kinds of drawings that are followed or used in the building construction. Alright guys, so this is the electrical drawing of our room, okay? All right, so here you can see it's a double bedded room and here is a twin bedded room. And so these electrical drawings basically give you the arrangement of the lights and arrangement of the switch, you know, uh, how many switches you will have and which switch will operate which light and number of power sockets that are required and their location, right? And also if your you know building has a fire alarm system, then it will also provide uh, the drawings for the smoke detectors and also for the uh, hooters or sirens, right? Also, the electrical drawings will give you information about the data points, right? So where your uh, LAN port will be or your Wi-Fi access point will be. And also they will give information about where the location of the CCTV and the kind of wire uh, that is required for those CCTV or networking, right? So you might have the coaxial cable or you might have uh, the CAT6 cable. So the CAT6 cable is uh, the training now, okay? So let's go, uh, go and see a uh, drawing, right? So here, here you can see it's a room. So don't look here, uh, just look at this, right? So if you see that, you can see that L is written L8, and uh, L13, L19, L20. So these all are false seeing lights. Okay, so if you don't understand what they actually mean, you can go to the legend at any time and see uh, what they actually mean. Okay, so uh, where is the legend? Alright, so the legend is incomplete here, and but uh, but so they are. They are all uh, ceiling lights, okay? So these two, uh, L19, L20, L13, L15. So it means that you'll have a, a ceiling light at the center of the bed near its foot and two at this location. And these all these are wall lights. So L2, L, L10, so they are the wall lights, right? So so this drawing shows how you, where the location of your wall light, right? And also, also you can see that. Uh, so, so once you enter your room, okay so let's begin from here once you enter your room you can see there is a switch so it has shown one two three and four gang right so one two three and four lines so it means that it's a four gang switch so four gang switch means it will have four number of switches okay so to see uh, to see what these switches will operate so we have to go to the detail right so first one we will have a master key switch so that is uh, so if you have been into a hotel room you'll see that so you'll be provided with a card so that will look like your uh, master card or your ADM card and you have to insert that card into this a uh, key switch right so uh, once you enter once you insert uh, your card into the key switch uh, then all your lights will glow Okay, so, and all your electrical uh, power sockets will operate. Okay, so next, next switch, next you will have a switch. That's the switch for light L1, L2, L3, and L6. So, if you find L1, L2, you can uh, find that. Uh, so you have to find where is your L1 and L2 and L3. Okay, so they are here. So you can see that they here is your L1 is your strip light. So uh, yeah, so this is your strip light. So strip light, if you don't know what that is, just go to the Google and see what that is, okay? And this is your L1 and L2 is your ceiling light. So uh, L2, L3, so this one is uh, L3 over here. So that is another strip light at the false ceiling. And also L4 is your, L4 is your L, L3 and L6, right? So L6 is your ceiling light. So it means that uh, this switch so the switch over here will operate these many lights so L1, L2, L3 and L6, right? So if you turn this switch on, they will glow and if you turn off, they will also get turned off, right? So next is that you will have a switch L8A. So it means that it will operate the L8A light. So that is this light, right? And again, next switch is a two-way for L8, L10 and L20. So here you got L8 and L10 and L20 you can find here, right? So this is how you read uh, your uh, electrical drawings, okay? So uh, here, uh, so what you, what this is, right? So this is, a, this is a musical bell and here you got a cupboard and you got a light inside a cupboard as well, right? And also you can see, uh, okay, so let us see the power socket. So here you can see that there is a point mark and if you want to know what this point actually is, you'll get the information information over here so it's a it, it has two switches and one power socket so one switch will uh, operate
required light 15 so you have to find the 15 number of lights so we can find that so it's here right so that that light and it's a two-way switch for l11 l14 and l16 so l11 l14 and l16 will have a two-way switch it means that these elect these uh, lights can be operated from uh, another switch as well okay so uh, and you you got power socket p2 over here right and same here as well you got you got your switch gang right and you can see your switches and what they operate and also the power socket and a telephone socket as well right and uh, and here you can see for the setup box you got power socket and and the jack for the television okay so this is how your electrical drawing is arranged okay so once you do so this is the this is the wiring of wiring of the room right so to know uh, to know what is the size of the wire and how these uh, you know wiring uh, how the electrical components are grouped you have to go to the dv drawing so this is called your dv drawing uh, dv means the distribution box uh, what happens is that uh, once you the main cable enters the, your building so there you there you have a distribution box that is the main distribution box okay from there the wires go into different rooms and in each room you got a different distribution box right all right so you can see that this wire uh, so this is the size of the wire right so from uh, conduit from the floors main dv so the from main dv it goes into the room dv right so the room dv you will have a 32 ampere double pole mcb so double pole mcb means it will have two poles right and it will have two phases that is neutral and one wire for the phase okay so from that uh, double pole mcb so one wire will go to the key switch and the wire will go to six ampere single pole mcb and from that mcb the wire will go to power socket four five six and you can locate where your power socket uh, four five six are right and from the key switch the wire will go to 25 ampere uh, rcbo and from that this is how the wires will be distributed right so you'll have one two three four five mcbs and this is six ampere mcb six ampere 16 ampere mcb right from this six ampere mcb you can see that which lights will be operated and from the 16 ampere mcb you can see that which lights will be uh, operated and you see six ampere two mcbs are spared you know for future extensions right and here uh, and here you can see that so it's written c means that you will have two one so double core so it means that you'll have two wires and each wire will be of 1.5 mm square size so the, the two into 1.5 has that meaning okay and so two in two into uh, four means do you have a uh, two core two wires of four mm square and one wire of 2.5 mm square so it's a three phase wire right this is how you read the electrical drawings okay so this is all the information that is required for the electrical wiring right so but as an engineer you have to understand the basic things right so you can to go and do wiring at the side right so the electrical electricians will do that only thing is that you have to understand the drawing and how the all the wiring is done right so the the concept you have to learn okay so the next drawing that we have is the sanitary drawings So here you can see the toilet layout plan so this is the first thing that you'll see and here you can see that it's a, it has a bathtub over here and you got a wash basin and there is a basin counter and you got commode and you can see a cockroach strap and it's a paper holder and it's a hand spray and this is this is your sour area and this is your cockroach strap as well and this is your sour right so you get so this information you will get from here the layout plan so next is deluxe Okay, so from for the same room yeah for the same room this one is yeah this is the drawing okay so this shows the pipe layout plan so this basically shows how your wastewater will go or exit out of this bathroom so you got you got two kinds of two kinds of things inside your bathroom so one is the soil and another is the wastewater right the soil line is for the night soil and the wastewater is for the water that is used inside of the bathroom right so here you can see that you got a cockroach trap over here and from there you will have a 75 mm that is three inches wide uh, od means that outer diameter wire and uh, so the pipeline and from here also you will have uh, another pipeline that is of 75 mm and these two pipelines will join over here and the 75 pipeline will go into the duct right so from the duct so the duct of a building are connected throughout okay so for example i showed you that architectural drawing 
Okay, so if you see this artificial drawing that I showed you, uh, you know, a few minutes earlier, then you can see that uh, the dock that was shown here. So this dock, so, okay, so you can see a uh, dock over here as well, not here. So you can see that uh, there is, a, this is your dock, right? So let us assume that this dock is uh, this one. Okay, so this dock one. So what happens is that once your, you know, all the pipelines are taken into this dock, so this dock is connected throughout. So for example, you got here. So if you see the section, so uh, let's assume that that dock was here. So this dock will be connected throughout your building. And, and from any point of the building, so the pipeline that comes from the dock will be taken out from your building, okay? All right. So here also you can see that uh, you got uh, you got uh, OD uh, 110 mm uh, pipeline for a uh, soil line, right? So from here you have a pipeline that will take all the soil into the duct, right? And also from the bathtub as well you will have a duct, right? So uh, okay, right. So uh, this is your one pipeline, and the pipeline that you will have is of the water. Right, so this this is for your wastewater and the soil, and this is for your uh, fresh water or the water that is used inside of the that bathroom. Okay, so you can see uh, you'll have four gate valves in the duct, and from the gate valves you'll have different kinds of pipelines that will go inside this bathroom. Okay, so if you see in the detail, it's written C. So it means that it, so it means that at this position you'll have three by four inch of uh, CTS, so CTS pipeline. So that is the kind of the pipeline, and C means that for the Cold water okay and also for uh, you got for the cold and you got for the flush so so in this building what has been done is that for flushing the toilet different kind of the water has been brought inside of the bathroom so you got different pipeline for the flush line as well and H is for the hot line so you'll have half inch of the hot water and and uh, HR is for the hot return line so what happens is that so when your hot line enters like this and uh, goes here suppose here at the hand spray then the hot water will have to return into the dock and it will go to the source of the hot water right so you'll have a heating mechanism somewhere in your building and the hot water will continuously run from that heating point or that heat pump uh, to the building continuously that will be in a circulation so you'll have two wires for the two pipelines for hot hot water right so one is for the cold for the flush for the hot and hot return so this is how your pipeline is arranged and uh, and this is uh, so these pipelines are placed inside of the wall and you can see this is your wash basin and you will have two pipelines for the wash basin right so one is for the hot another is for the cold and also and also to the shower you got cold and hot water right so always remember that uh, so if you have two pipelines in a wall the lower one will be a cold water line and upper one will be the hot water line right so okay and also for the wash also for the bathtub you will have the water line and this is how you uh, how you read the uh, sanitary drawings okay so these details are for the different kind of toilets and they are also read the same way as i have told you for this one all right so uh, all right so guys so sanitary drawings will have other additional information for example for example uh, let us see a uh, block to final sanitary so the toilet and it also it will also have the information about the rainwater right so let us open this and you if you see this okay so you can see that you can see that od 110 rainwater pipeline so it means that from the truss from uh, this point up to this point this all the point you will have a pipeline running that will take the rainwater away from the building okay and also you'll have the vertical profile so vertical profile drawings will give you the information information about how the uh, how the uh, pipeline will be arranged in the docks right so here you uh, here uh, right so here i have shown you that how these pipelines will accumulate and go into the duct and from yeah, and within the duct how the pipelines will go you'll get from the vertical profile drawings okay so uh, so gray water pipeline and gray water pipeline so that that basically means for the uh, for the flush Plus lines right so this is for the plus line and this is for the hot return line right so and here you will give you will be given the, so that is the roof level and this is third floor and uh, this is second floor so you'll have a vein pipe as well that will go out of the building so that the, your flush is smooth and the toilet doesn't sting so that is why you provide the vein pipe okay this is how the pipeline will be at the second floor you can see for the different kind of things right so this is what your vertical profile gives you
and if you have fire hydrant system and it will give information about your fire hydrant pipe so fire hydrant pipe means basically for the sprinklers you can see over here so you will have uh, the pipeline running for the fire sprinklers in the passes so is nb 50 means that is the diameter of the pipe right so you will also have the pipelines going into the rooms and these are the sprinkler points in the rooms okay Alright guys, so these are the drawings that you require at the site for the building construction or its completion. And there are other drawings like drawings of the interior, you know, how all the furniture will be made, the location, the fall ceiling, that we'll talk in another video. And I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and take care.